Good morning, YTPC. Philly Piper Mike here. Tuesday, June 15th. 64 degrees, going up to 81. It's going to be a beautiful day today. <coughs> nice and cool, no humidity, really. Every day could be like this. I'd be, uh, be good. Enjoying these more milder days until the mid Atlantic nasty summer northeast. We kind of get the the worst of all worlds. In the summer it gets it can get super humid and hot. Yeah, mid nineties. And then in the winter, it gets pretty crappy and cold. <laughs> so, we uh, kind of get it all. But we also have all four seasons, so that's a, that's a bonus. But, I digress. So this morning, I am smoking my Tim Thorpe Billiard Contrast Stain Sandblasted. Beautiful pipe. Uh, Tim is a local pipe carver here. I think he's right over in Jersey. Uh, but he's a member of the Christopher Morley Pipe Club here in Philadelphia. I commissioned this from him a couple years ago. It's awesome, nice and stout. Saddle stem. Tim's also a, uh, follow him on Instagram. He's a ridiculously good, uh, cook. Um, he like barbecue, smoking meats and stuff like that. So he, uh, he's always posting either like food pictures or like, I think he makes guitars maybe. He definitely plays guitars. Pipe pictures. And in it today, I am smoking McBaron's Symphony, which is a Virginia Burley, but it's it's a Burley and then some Virginia and some Black Cavendish. And I'm not a huge, like I was saying yesterday, I'm not a huge Burley guy. Um, but I do love Burley's, um, McBaron's, I tend to like their, their Burley ones. Um, I like Burley more than I like old, or, you know, than Darkfire. Um, but I'm not a huge, like, like, Wessex Burley Slice or, um, what's the HH Burley, Burley Flake. They're not bad, but um, I prefer my Virginias with some Burley if I'm going to have some Burley. <laughs> but this is a Burley forward. Uh, I think the main component's Burley, and then there's some Virginia and some Cavendish. Um, and it's got some cocoa, like sweet, uh, very mild flavoring which is kind of hard to detect to me. I, I think it just enhances the that light cocoa flavor you can get from Burley. It's really good though. 
like I said, there aren't many McBaron blends that I'm, that I, I don't enjoy. Um, they don't really make uh, any bad blends that I've had. Um, this comes as a ready rub. Uh, it comes in, you know, all kinds of different bags. I think I got it in uh, originally like a 100 gram tin and then I bought a, like a 16 ounce bag. For the price of those McBaron blends, I usually buy, like if I buy one of those blends and I like it, I end up just buying a, like a, one of the, they have the one pound bags, usually like 50, 60 bucks. I mean, you can't beat it. You know, even if it's not something you smoke all the time, you'll have it forever. Throw it in a big mason jar, put it on the shelf in your cellar, <coughs> and then you're set. Golden Extra. It, th this is like the little brother to Golden Extra. Um, it's a little lighter, a little. Uh, it's because I smoked Golden Extra yesterday. It's a little bit deeper than this, but it's sim again similar, similar flavor profile with the burley. Like Symphony and Golden Extra would be my like, you know, they're like my codger blends. Like if I was gonna like, you know, smoke a codger blend, if I had a codger blend, you know, I'm not gonna smoke Prince Albert or. Carter Hall, not that they're bad, um, you know, I don't mind them, but, um, I, you know, I would, I would, I would probably smoke Golden Extra as my, like, codger blend, if there was something that I would just puff on all day, that was on the cheaper side, it'd be that. So, tough, tough, uh, morning today, my Sixers lost, uh, last night in Atlanta, which they they easily should have won that game. Yeah, they played like crap in the second half, especially the third quarter. Um, Joel had a crappy game. They just they just didn't play well. Like I mean, the Hawks shot like thirty six percent from the field and thirty percent from like three point, and they still won. Sixers had like a you know double digit lead at halftime and throughout most of the first half and then the third quarter they they played like crap and they they dwindled it down to like a four point lead and and, and they could have won the game to still like they had a couple of attempts at like with a few seconds remaining and they still you know I think losing Dan Green definitely going to catch up, but, so, we should be up 3-1, it, ideally, we, we, we have we won last night, be up 3-1, the Bucks series and the Nets are tied 2-2, you know, they're without Kyrie and uh, Harden, so they're, they're going to be struggling with the Bucks. so, you know, the best thing we could have done was take a commanding lead on this series, go up 3-1, then heading home, finish it out. You know, now it's 2-2, two -two and we're going to have to go back to Atlanta. Which, you know, whatever. But, anyway. But, yeah, if you haven't given uh, this a try, Symphony, give, give it a shot. Um, if you like Golden Extra, I'm sure you'll like Symphony. If you like Burley Blends... Um, really forward blends. I'm sure you'll like this as well. It's a good all-day smoke. It could easily smoke this all day. Some people say that, like, if you smoke it fast, it'll bite you. A lot of people say that about McBaron blends. I mean, I don't... I think I'm just immune to tongue bite. I mean, I don't really have a... a uh, have a fast cadence. I don't really puff too fast, but 
it's uh, it's really hard for me to really remember times where I've had tongue bite. I guess I just have a leather tongue, but I don't really get tongue bite. Um, I mean, I'm sure if I puffed on an aromatic super fast, I, I'd get something, but like non-aromatic blends, I don't think I really have ever gotten tongue bite. Um, and from any kind of quality tobacco. I mean, if it's wet and goopy and you're smoking an aromatic, just puffing on it, uh, yeah, sure, but it doesn't really seem to affect me. I guess isn't a bad thing, <laughs> but anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go through and see the other McMarin blends that I have that I have not talked about yet, and just run through them this week. Um, I still have a few that I know I have not done, so. trying to put some little groupings together and do some similar, you know, some brand, different brands. So I did, like, some C&D brands, brands last week. I'll do some like Barons this week. I did Rat Trays the week before. So, anyway. All right, guys, you guys have a great day. I'm just about to head into work. Um, hope everybody's doing well. I'll see you guys on the next one. And remember, the left lane is for passing. See you guys.